Okay, welcome to another Creative Tap tutorial. And uh, in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at exporting from After Effects with a transparent background. Um, and why would we want to do that? Well, maybe you want to add a little subscribe sort of thing to your channel and you don't want this black background in there. Well, if that's what you want to do or if you, if you want a transparent background, then keep on watching because that's what we're going to do in this tutorial. So all I've got, as you've seen already, is this little animation. And if I click this button by here, toggle transparency grid, this just gets rid of the black background because all it's saying that um, you've got just this. Th this checkerboard is saying that there's nothing else there. It represents transparency, okay? Now, before we go ahead and do it, I just want to explain a little bit about it, okay? So if we come to here, you've got red channel, green channel, and blue channel, okay? Now, all, all these channels are, that they do look black and white, and that's because um, white represents more data in that channel, black represents less. So black is none, completely white is 100% data there. So given that this has got a blue rectangle, if we go to the blue channel, it's very, very bright, and it's saying there's a lot of blue information there. It's also saying, when we come to the red channel, that there's not a lot of information there in the red channel, as you can see. Okay, so the darker something is, the less data is there. Now, we've also got something called an alpha channel. Alpha channels represent transparency. So if it's white, it means the, d the area is completely opaque. If it's black, it means it's completely transparent. So all we need to do when we render is tell it to render an alpha channel, and it'll use this um, data to only have transpa to only have data in the white area and everywhere else where it's black be transparent. Okay, now if I hit T for opacity and bring down the transparency of this uh, subscribe animation, you can see it goes darker. So that's that's exactly what this represents, the transparency, okay? So I'm going to turn that off, let's go to RGB, and I also want to bring, I just want to quickly go in here and change this back to a grey, because I only turned it I only turn it blue for just to show you guys. Anyway, so here we go. This is what I want to render. So let's get to it. I need to go to composition, add to render queue, and let's delete these. Uh, I need to go to lossless. Okay, you just click this word, and all you need to do is I'm going to change it to QuickTime and keep it at animation. Um, and I, you all you need to do is come into channels, and you want to go RGB and alpha. Okay. And that's it. That's all you need to do in order to render something with a transparent background. QuickTime and RGB plus alpha. Click OK. And I'm just going to make sure, save into my desktop for now. Yeah, it's fine. Click Render. And should do it pretty quickly. It's not that long. It's only about an 8 second, no, 9 second comp. So what I'll do now is I'll just re-import it to show you this transparent. So I've got this image here, YouTube cover art, I'm just going to create a new composition out of it, and I'm going to import what I've just rendered, so where is it? Um, lower thirds, where's it gone? Subscribe LT, there it is. Import, and when I drag this on top, this background image by the way is bigger than HD, um, so that's why our uh, subscribe thing is lower, is smaller, sorry. But as you can see, it animates in, and it's got a transparent background. That black that was there is gone. And um, we've got this now. So that's as simple as that. So again, very, very quick tutorial. But I've explained how, uh, how, how it works with the Alpha channel. And I've shown you how to do it. So uh, yeah, cheers for tuning in. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.